hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss which is better evernote or notion let's begin okay so both evernote and notion are powerful tools but they cater to a different aspects of note taking organization and productivity which we are going to explore in this video okay so evernote is a popular and versatile note-taking application designed to help users capture organize and manage various types of information because it serves as a digital workspace where users can create store and access notes documents web clippings images and more now users can create different types of notes including text notes checklists voice memos images web clippings and file attachments and allowing for a more versatile content creation evernote offers various organizational features like notebooks tags and a powerful search function allowing users to categorize and find their notes easily all right now basically it's available on multiple devices and platforms including web browsers desktop computers which are, which are windows and mac os smartphones ios and android and tablets ensuring users can access their notes from anywhere now evernote allows users to clip web pages articles or portions of web content directly into their notes making it very convenient for saving information from the internet enable sharing and collaboration of notes and documents allowing multiple users to work on and edit the same notes or notebooks and the app itself right here has the ability to scan and digitize documents making text within images searchable through optical character recognition or OCR and if you want more information about why Evernote go at their official website right because it can capture anything keep it together find it fast take it anywhere basically you can remember everything and accomplish anything all right let's talk about the uh, pricing plans you can always test waters by getting the uh, free standard evernote make plans keep a journal clip anything from the web you can download the app on app store on google play all right so basically i'm using evernote and notion so they have some features and advantages over the others all right so if you want to know more again about evernote go here at their website so you can check and compare the two platforms all right now we're going to the next contender which is notion it's a powerful all-in-one workspace and productivity tool that combines note-taking, project management, database organization, and collaboration features in a single platform. It offers a flexible and customizable environment where users can create and organize content in various formats to suit their needs, right? Now, Notion uses a block-based systems, basically where users can create content using different types of blocks such as tags, images, to-do lists, tables, databases, calendars, and more. And this allows for highly structured and customizable content creation. Notion offers a wide range of templates for various purposes, including notes, task lists, project management knowledge bases and more now users can start with uh, pre-built templates or create their own custom templates all right now users have extensive control over how they organize and structure their workspace they can create pages sub pages and databases and link them together to create an interconnected system of information notion supports collaboration in real time allowing multiple users to work on documents and projects simultaneously because it offers features for committing such as this one sharing and assigning tasks within the work space itself so every team has a side by side all right notion can integrate with other apps and services allowing users to embed content from external sources like google drive trello figma and more directly into their notion workspace so 
It's available on various devices and platforms, including web browsers, desktop applications, Windows and Mac OS, mobile devices, iOS and Android, ensuring users can access and work on their content from anywhere. All right. So this is the best, one of the best, not really the best, but this is one of the best platforms you can have for work management tool. And we also have a separate video for Notion. If you want to check more in our channel, you might want to do that. All right. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of both. Now, Evernote's free version has limitations on usage, including the number of devices you can use and storage space. Now, to unlock advanced features and increase storage, users need to subscribe to a premium plan, which might be considered costly for some users. While Evernote offers basic formatting options for notes, it might lack some advanced formatting features compared to other note-taking apps. Users looking for extensive formatting options might find it limiting. Now, despite its simplicity, some users might find Evernote's interface a bit cluttered or overwhelming, especially when dealing with a large number of notes or notebooks. Now, for users seeking highly specialized features for project management, detailed task tracking, or advanced database functionalities, Evernote might not meet those specific needs as effectively as some other tools. Now, let's head over to Notion. Users with extensive databases or complex setups might experience performance issues, such as slower loading times or lags, which could affect the overall user experience. While Notion is available on mobile devices, the mobile experience might not be as polished or feature-rich as the desktop version. Some functionalities might be limited or less intuitive on mobile platforms, but the collaborative features, especially for larger teams, might become costly as their pricing structure for teams or enterprise plans could be higher compared to individual use, right? Now, Notion's web version lacks a dedicated offline mode. Although, if you ask me, the desktop app allows offline access, the web version requires an internet connection to access notes and documents. Exporting data from Notion, especially in bulk or specific formats, might be limited compared to other platforms. And of course, this could be a concern for users who want more flexibility in exporting their data. All right. And as always, choosing between Evernote and Notion often comes down to your specific needs because for one, Evernote is a great for simple straightforward note taking an organization all right while notion offers more versatility and customization but might require more time to learn and fully utilize its capabilities and your preference for a more straightforward note taking experience versus a more versatile and customizable productivity tool will vary on your preferences all right and as always it pays to check so just go here at their official websites for one for Evernote. There's a lot of information that you will pick up when you go on their website. Because of course there's prizes when you want to extend the features of uh, the uh, free uh plan. Alright, so just go here. It's a lot of um things that you could pick up from here. And I could say the same thing for um Notion. I went here to check with the products and solutions, all right? And the pricing as well. Now, as you can see, the free has limitations. But the most popular, which I am currently subscribed to, is the Plus. A place for small groups to plan and get organized. That's only $8, $8 not 800 It's $8 per month, all right? That ten dollars build monthly and everything in free and unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads, thirty day page history and invite a hundred guests. Right, business plans for companies. That's gonna be fifteen dollars per month. And of course, the enterprise. Actually, I went here to request a demo, so because you know I'm planning to um, scale up, probably a few months from now. So I went, and they were very. Um, accommodating with my uh, questions and inquiries and request uh, it, it, it's a scheduled um demo so you might want to do with that but then again i'm using both um uh, platforms so i think it depends on your business and niche all right Th that could be a deal breaker on choosing between notion and um and evernote but both are really good um a platform for one
and that concludes our video for today thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one